Hey guys, Zangus, and today I'm going to give you a video on what to do when you get a black screen when you boot your Windows 7 or Windows Vista device. My first suggestion would be actually going on Control Alt Delete. Now, what this will actually do is actually give you this screen, and then what you actually want to do is go to Task Manager. Now, you will notice that you will actually still have a black screen, but of course, you will actually have a little bit of graphics to actually enable you to actually start Windows properly. Now, if all you urgently need to do is actually boot a certain application, what you want to do is actually go to Browse and then actually select the application you want to do and then you select it from your desktop if you can or find the program and then actually click Run and it'll actually boot it for you. Despite the number of times I've said actually, you'll be able to run the program and also this will give you the option to run other programs as well. But there'll still be some of you who want to boot the full OS and I will show you how to do that as well. So of course I'm going to show you how to actually fix this for both Windows Vista and also Windows 7. So starting with Windows Vista, what you want to do is actually go to Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, and then you actually want to go to Services. Now this can actually be found in one of the columns, and what you want to do is actually find Explorer.exe and actually end the process. Then you want to go back to the Task Manager, select File, then select Run, and type in the same Explorer.exe and select OK. So hopefully you should actually find that your OS has loaded fully and your computer should now actually be working. So of course if you do have any comments or any concerns, definitely be sure to drop them in the comments below. So now I'm actually going to show you how to do this on Windows 7. So of course I do actually have the GUI in mind, but let's assume that you do have the black screen. So what you want to go to is Processes and you want to find Explorer.exe exactly the same like it was in Windows Vista. So it's a very similar process, you want to go to explore the exe, right click in it and end process and then from there you actually want to go to file, run and then rerun explore the exe by typing it in and selecting ok. So hopefully that should have worked for you and that should have covered it for both Windows Vista and Windows 7. So of course if you did find this video helpful definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Speeches that Watney's passed away basically discover after Matt Damon's character, yeah. Mark Watney, basically communicates to NASA, they basically discover he's alive, but they haven't told the crew yet. Exactly. And then what goes from there? So they've they've sort of set on Mars, uh, they need to abandon it, Matt Damon's still alive, he's communicating with them, and then they sort of decide, right, we need to go rescue him. Yeah. So that is the, the story. Simple that is the story because we don't want to give away too many. We don't want to give away we any spoilers. We can't give away. We can't give away spoilers. But let's begin what we. So really that enjoy. is that's the start of the story. So we got that sorted out. Let's what begin. Next? What's what, next? Let's begin what we. The thing with Ridley Scott is Ridley Scott is definitely a fascinating filmmaker because he's such a visual director. With.